Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're doing another review. Uh, this time we're talking about the Small Rig VB99 SE Mini V Mount Battery. Nice little compact Mini V Mount Battery. Uh, Small Rig did send this to me to keep. I can give you my honest opinion as no money has changed hands, but I do get to keep this product and use it long term. Um, this, I've used it on about three jobs so far in a mixture of my other batteries because I only have one of these and I have used it all the way through, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Uh, but let's go over this battery in general and kind of uh, go through all the talking points, the positives and the negatives. Let's get into it. First positive off the top of my head is it's very lightweight and it's pretty robust. I will get into the build of this thing uh, further on in this video, but it, it, it feels great in the hand. Uh, it's solid, it's dense, doesn't feel light. And the plastic, although it's very plastic, uh, it feels like it's a solid build. I don't foresee this, you know, I mean, maybe if you drop it on the hard concrete or something, it might just explode out, but I don't see it having a bad time bouncing around in a bag or a, or a hard box or something. I think it would hold up over time. It's kind of a, it's a battery. It's a square block of a battery. Uh, so it gets the job done for sure. But yeah, I mean, as far as the build quality, pretty good. I won't get any knocks against the build quality besides just feeling kind of plastic. And these, these little grips on the side, uh, if you are gripping it, they are nice to have. They are a little slick still. Like I would, I would like a little more knurled feel to it, um, but it's not a make or break for this. It's nice to have something like this. Uh, the A lot of other batteries don't even have like a grip area on them, so it's a positive, although I wish it was a little bit more abra abrasive or aggressive rather on the uh, actual grip of it, but yeah. Now let's talk about the key features of this battery and why it's so different from other ones on the market. I mean, you have your standard D-tap right here on the side. Uh, you have your power button right here to kind of see how much power is left on it. And then as you flip up this top chip, you have yourself a standard USB-A, a USB-C, in and out, which we'll get to in a second, an eight volt out and a 12 volt out. So it has a lot of, you know, IO to be able to plug into anything you really need to plug into. Um, and it can, you know, charge a bat or your laptop, your phone, plug it into like a smaller light if you want to, obviously power your camera, uh, charge your camera, charge your drone. There's a lot of application when it comes to this battery versus some of the other ones on the market when you wanna just charge things on the go. I use this quite a bit to charge my drone on a job. I had it plugged into my car, but we were starting and stopping the car a lot. And so I was like, okay, I have a V-mount battery. I had three batteries for my drone. I ran through two of them. So I thought I might as well charge you know, one while we're driving around and while I'm not using the drone and I plugged it into this USB-C and I was able to charge a battery. It, it's not like quick charging, but it charges it, you know, standard over time, which was awesome. So it helped out a lot in that instance. There are a lot of V-mount batteries on the market now who have, that have a USB-C on them also, which is great, but not, not, they don't have all of it, which is really cool. So it's nice to see that. So let's get into the charging aspect of this. Uh, you can charge this two ways. You can charge it through the D-tap on the side, which I have a D I have a charger for my other batteries that I plug this into. Uh, you can also charge it through the ports on the bottom if you have a charger port or a charger like that. Uh, and then you can also charge this thing in, you can charge it through the USB-C on top also. So if you have a fast charger, or something along those lines, you can plug it into this and charge it that way, which is a huge plus to this battery. Um, a lot of the other batteries, you have to charge them through the D-tap or through their proprietary charging system, uh, like a B-Bob battery or even like um, some of the, I um, won't get into all the names, but yeah, you get the point. A lot of them, you have to have a proprietary charger or only charge through the uh, D-tap charger on the side or top or wherever it's at on the battery. But this one, Right there in the top, USB-C. We all have a USB-C cable hanging around from our phones or for something else in our lives because USB-C is everywhere. And it's nice to see that you can now charge your V-mount batteries via USB-C. That makes it really nice. 
All right, let's talk about the real world experience. Using this on several jobs, I have been pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect it to fail or have any issues, um, but for the price of what this is, it works really well. Uh, and that's not a stab against Small Rig. I mean, they create budget friendly products for filmmakers to be able to access these tools. For being priced at 150 bucks, you can't go wrong with this specific battery. My 98 watt hour batteries from, you know, Core, <laughs> they're up, they're upwards of, you know, 300 bucks. Uh, they've come down in price recently, but they're still really expensive. So it kind of makes you second guess or think twice on, on where you're spending your money when there's batteries out there that do a phenomenal job like this small rig battery. Long term, it's still yet to be seen. I have had some small rig products for a very long time. Granted, they're not batteries and they don't have like internal chips and things like that. They're just products that small rig has created, uh, like, you know, connectors or rods or things like that, handles. And those have lasted me a very long time. So I don't, I don't anticipate this being something that wears aggressively fast, but time will tell. And I will put it through a long-term review. But time will tell on this battery on like how long it actually makes it in the long run. There are some other cool little features that I do want to talk about real fast. So you have these little slots on here on the front and, and the side on the top and the side rather. And those are to hold these flaps. So you can you can push that flap down and then it sits inside of there and it doesn't allow it to kind of go out of there. It's kind of ingenious. I, I really like that. It's a, I mean, it's a small little feature, but I actually really like that feature. It makes it nice when you're trying to, you know, have something that's not, that's not continuously getting in the way, you know, you can just pop it down and it stays where it's supposed to stay, which is really cool. In real world use, I gave you one little example of real world use with my drone. I did use this on several jobs running my camera and my monitor. I am running the uh, Ultra 7 and the Sony FX6 together out of the same battery. And I don't know if a lot of you have used the Ultra 7 yet, but it is a battery hog. It uses so much battery. And I was able to get through a solid three hour shoot with just this battery hooked up to the Ultra 7 and my, A7, or my sorry, FX6, uh, which is the setup I'm shooting with right now. And it, it, it held up the entire time. I did end it, I specifically had it, um, I haven't charged it since I did this, so I could do this video with it. 28% uh, is what it went down to over that three hour period. So there still was about, you know, probably 45 minutes left in this battery, um, potentially. It could be a little bit less than that, but I'm gonna say about, you know, 30 to 45 minutes left in this battery from my experience. Um, but it did, a great job. And I kept checking it because I was like, okay, it's 99 watt hour battery. It's going to go bad and, or not bad. It's going to go, it's going to die in probably, you know, two hours, maybe an hour 45 with how battery hungry these, uh, these products are. I mean, the FX6 sips battery, but the monitor is a, is a hog. Uh, but yeah, I, I, it, it made it through the entire shoot. I was surprised, but also happy that it did that. And, um, you got my, I might buy another one of these, honestly, 150 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, the design aesthetics, if it's one little gripe, I'm not a huge fan of the design aesthetics. Small Rig usually does a pretty good job. I, I like plain and simple. I like, you know, stuff to look more modern. To, in my eyes, the Small Rig battery, I know it's, it's 150 bucks. It's not like it's, you know, a $700 battery or a $400 battery, but it, it, it doesn't really give me that appeal when I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, I'd rather use my blank name, because I'm not gonna say it during this one, battery versus this, just because it looks cooler, and call that like the superficial part of me, and, and function over, you know, look is always the better thing to go for. But in my eyes, I feel like you, you could have done, you could have done a little bit more design aesthetic small rig when it comes to this battery. Uh, even if for 150 bucks, I mean, we don't need all this design on the back. You could just do like a strip. The more expensive version looks cooler. The hunt, like the, I think it's 200 bucks. So it's $50 extra for like the one that looks a little bit cooler. And I actually, I don't know what that one does differently than this one. I haven't tested it out and I haven't really read up on it to be totally frank. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure the small rig down the road may come out with another version of this and maybe they'll think 
oh, we want to put a little more design element into it. And they can do that because they're small rig and they have the capability of doing that. I can say, now I haven't tested every battery on the market, obviously. I have some core batteries, I have a Bebop battery, and I have a couple other cheaper versions of batteries. But I will say that this battery excels in everything that I've put it through thus far. The charging experience is awesome. The power delivery, it's on par with other batteries on the market and maybe even surpasses it in some ways. I mean, 28% over three hours for a battery hungry monitor, not bad. I, overall, I'm impressed for the price, 150 bucks. You can't go wrong with a battery for $150 and expect it to do crazy things. I mean, it's a battery for crying out loud, it's a V-mount battery. But still, it's it's nice to have um, a battery that does its, does what it says it's, it's going to do and what it's supposed to do, and with no no problems. I mean, that's probably the biggest part. One little thing I will add in: uh, they did ask me to talk about this. Are the quarter twenty mounts on the bottom as well as on the back, and then a three eighths mount as well that you can mount this onto things. So if you have a battery uh, or if you have a light rather, and you have some sort of mount, you can twist this on, clamp it to the a stand and then you can power your light or your monitor or whatever you want to power with this specific battery uh, hooked up to other things so there you don't necessarily need a v-mount plate to use this battery if you're just plugging into it obviously if you're gonna use the, uh, the, the connector at the bottom for your v-mount plate that would be the difference you would definitely need a v-mount plate for this but if you just want to plug into it and use whatever you're using you don't need that so pretty cool little feature little accessory item that you, uh, you can use in a vast amount of ways. So yeah, with that said, uh, I don't really have anything more to add to this video, but I will tell you guys that I definitely would recommend trying this battery out, and I'm not just trying to get you to go out and buy something you don't necessarily need, but if you're in the market for a V-mount battery and you need something that in your budget's a little bit tighter and you don't necessarily need the most expensive battery on the market, I would definitely say that the Small Rig VB99 SE mini v-mount battery it's a mouthful is definitely something to look at and if you're in the market for one i would probably get it and i may buy another one just because of how cheap they really are and the power that you get out of them so thank you small rig for sending this over for review thank you for watching and staying till the end let me know down in the comments if you have any questions love to answer them love talking to you guys through this medium of uh, YouTube. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.